is Jordan Love any good? And I don't know if y'all can tell in the, in the background with all of the Green Bay paraphernalia that might be you know visible. I got the Tunyon, I got the Lazar jersey, I got the Bakhtiari jersey, the sixty nine number for Bakhtiari. As you can tell, maybe the the, the silver signature right there. Just uh, yeah, uh, as the resident Packers person, I can without a shadow of a doubt tell you that Jordan Love is terrible. He's bad. He's just bad at football. And it is it's okay for us to come to that reality because at the beginning of the year, we were tantalized. We were tantalized with Jordan Love and his spike week potential. Oh, Romeo Dubs is getting touchdowns. Oh, Jordan Love is playing so well. Jordan Love has the lowest completion percentage among all qualified quarterbacks with at least 160 dropbacks. Jordan Love has seven interceptions and 10 touchdowns, not a great ratio. And then it's also a 6.5 yards per attempt. Yikes. If you like the content and you find it helpful, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. So the yards per attempt, the bad completion percentage, and then even the adjusted completion percentage adjusted for drops. It's still the worst. Jordan Love is bad at football. Now, he doesn't have the worst passer grade that goes to Gardner Minshew on the season, but Jordan Love has been bad this year. He's just been bailed out by a couple big plays and a couple touchdowns that have swung his way. Thank goodness for some of these receivers. His stats would have even looked even better had Christian Watson housed that one against the Raiders, remember, just a couple weeks ago. So Jordan Love is not good. He is a sell in Dynasty. He is a sell in any other format. Get rid of him. Get him off your team. He is not good. And you don't want to, here's the reason. You don't want to be stuck with this type of player. A player who has showed out some fantasy spike weeks, but doesn't have the efficiency. He doesn't have the metrics. He doesn't have the completion percentage. And he didn't have the profile in previous years to say, hey, is a player that can bounce back. He was a late first round pick. He didn't do anything his rookie year at all. And then he continued to sit for years and years. And he only started to look good in a couple spot plays just last year. And then this year, another reason why he started out looking good is because no one really had tape on Jordan Love. Now that they've started to figure him out, this has been very difficult. So, no, Jordan Love is not good. The Green Bay Packers had indicated that this offseason anyways, I had been speaking about this for, for months, for months, when, when we got new data, whenever we get new data. And one of the pieces of data is that the Green Bay coaches were saying that they need to lean on the defense. They need to give Jordan Love some time. The defense is going to get exhausted, and Jordan Love's time has run out. We are now into week eight, and Jordan Love has thrown seven interceptions. Now, what's wild is that Jordan Love, <laughs> three of his interceptions were attempted, attempted throws toward Christian Watson just in the first two games of Watson being back on the field. So Jordan Love's not able to connect with his best player. He's not able to connect very well with other players. And the running game has struggled too to move the ball. There have been parts of this offense that have just struggled and struggled and struggled and haven't put Jordan Love in positions to make up for his inefficiencies. No, he's not good. You should be getting rid of it. He shouldn't be on your team. Someone has to land with the hot potato, right? But if you can get a second round pick and super flex for Jordan Love, yeah, that's the move.